Hey guys, it's JC's Reborn Journey here, and how are you guys doing today? So I wanted to give you guys a quick update video and I'll let you know how everything's going. I'm Jaden. How are you guys doing today? So it is Monday, Martin Luther King Day, so happy Martin Luther King Day. And um, I am just going to give you a quick update because I know it's been a couple days. So a couple cool things. I don't know if I told you about it before. First of all, I love this fireplace, by the way. Love it. It is so soothing. I have, like, no anxiety, no stress, nothing. I come home. I enjoy being home. I love my new chair, by the way. So it was a good um, it's a good purchase, especially for someone who's five feet tall. Um, I actually don't hurt my knees anymore. Um, yeah, so... Uh, Alright, so here's the update. I don't know if I told you guys this before, but I was trying to get back into the YMCA. And um, I am starting swimming tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I had some people, my, you know, some of my friends were jealous that I was going. So they want to go and they can't go because you need a membership to go. So I told them I'd get them a scholarship form and have them fill it out and see what happens. Um, cause it's $12 a day if you're not a member and because of COVID now you have to, um, make reservations to use the pool. So now you, you know what I mean? So, uh, you, I guess if you have somebody that's going to come with you, that's not a member, they don't really have any way to do that. So I wouldn't be able to reserve the pool for somebody that just wanted to come in and pay for the day. So. I told him, I said, let me get you a scholarship form, and we'll fill it out together, and I'll bring it back and see how, how it goes. So, um, yesterday I was on standby for shoveling snow, and that did not happen. Um, my friend gave me a little bit of a hard time, um, and then um, I finally was just like, dude, you don't want to spend time with your friend? So... We got to spend some time with him. I found out around 5 that it was a no-go for the shoveling snow. So we were able to enjoy our time, watch the movie. Um, I didn't really actually like the movie. But, um, you know, we got to hang out. And I cooked for about, jeez, hours. And then I finished cooking in the morning, like this morning. So... I'm really, it's really sickening to me. So my friends are staying in a motel and all they have is a microwave. So all they are buying is microwave dinners and stuff like that and little things that you can, you know, put in the microwave. And that is terrible for you guys, like terrible, especially you eat it every single day. And that's how Dennis got a heart attack. I mean, his wife died and a year later, he ended up having a heart attack because, no, it was a two years, a two years later, because all he was eating was um, um, TV dinners and stuff like that after his wife passed away. So I started making food for him and got him to live for another 10 years because of it. So what I did is I decided, I said, okay, I said, why don't you come back to my place? I said, you can help me get some food and then I'll make some food for you guys. So I'm going to link it at the end of this video. And you'll be able to see some of the things I got to make. So I made sure I had two different sides. Actually, technically it was three different sides. So I made chicken, burgers. So this is what I made this time. Chicken, burgers, um, and then breakfast. So it's two meals. So I made four meals, basically. So two meals for them to eat for tonight, and then two meals for them to eat for tomorrow. And then um, I made uh, breakfast. So you had eggs the way you like it. So each person got the way they liked their eggs. So it was eggs, hash browns, sta sausage, sausages, bacon, and then toast. So I made all that. So that's I made four of those. So they each have two breakfasts. They each have two dinners and then for two days so it was technically four i kind of think i made maybe extra dinners believe it or not because um i made they each have two burgers as well 
So it's kind of like four days, maybe, maybe four days worth of, of dinners. So I made chicken parmesan, and then, so two of them had mashed potatoes in it, and then two of them had rice. So, I, yes, I did a lot of cooking. On top of that, I made cookies and a cake. So this way, they're not like just going to the store and buying a cake for like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, whatever amount of money it is to buy a cake. So this way, the cake mix, frosting, did it, put the eggs in it, stirred it, and put it in the oven. And twenty-five minutes later, it's done. So let it cool down this morning. Uh, we hung out this morning, and then um, I, like I said, I continued doing cooking. And so I had to finish up the breakfast, which wasn't too hard. Uh, all it was was the eggs and cheese that I had to put on there. And then um, um, hung out around for a while, talked to my friend, you know, really got to have like one-to-one -one time. You need some bonding, one-to-one family. Man-to-man time, so yeah, we needed that. And then... Um, <coughs> um, And then we went to the store to so get some more food, so I have it here, and did some other shopping, and then went back to him. His son wanted to use my, my razor, which I don't use it, but I have it, and I don't want people, like, stealing my stuff, so I told him that I needed to use it, <laughs> so um, I could take it back today. So I stayed back for a little while, just so his son could shave his hair and do his face and whatever and then I helped him with the back of it and then that was it and then I was off to, off to home and I didn't get home until about 6 6 30 something like that had to take all the stuff out of the car then move the car then I um put all the stuff away and then um and I got these containers, so they're like the foam containers that you'd get like at like a Chinese food restaurant. It's got the three sectionals. Uh, don't forget the French fries. I made French fries too, so I made burgers and French fries, but l just gave them the buns in the bag instead of putting it on things. So this way, when they microwave it, the burger will get hot. The the bread won't get soggy and it won't get ruined in the microwave. So, yeah. So, one and one and then one and then one. And if they want to eat them both at the same time, they can eat them both at the same time. Like, I made a lot of food. So, then the next thing that's going to be on the list is, like, um, I think I'm going to do um, quesadilla, bre uh, breakfast quesadillas with chicken. I'm sorry, not chicken. With eggs sausage because we have it actually you know what if i made it just egg and cheese and then that way i could put bacon and sausage on the side or hash browns or actually maybe i could make um put the sausage in it to kind of give it some flavor and then um make bacon on the side and then uh hash browns and then toast. So that will be good. So then you'll have like a half a quesadilla. So I have to make one quesadilla for the both of them. Or for both, for one dish. You, I cut it up. And then that way you'll have a quesadilla. And then, um, and then what else? And then, so I can make two quesadillas and that will be four breakfasts. Um, so that's one. And then I'm also going to make pork chops with uh, probably like a, um, one of those um, like quick pasta dishes. So I'll put that in there. And then, um, so yeah. And there's two different kinds. I still have some rice, a couple of packages of rice. And then um, what else? Uh, so pork chops. And that's used for that. And then um, I wanted to make tacos. So just the taco meat. And then, um, oh, I know. C taco quesadillas. Yep, they're really good. So I'm going to make them cut taco quesadillas instead of regular tacos. That will be better. And then that way it's easier to cook, easier to eat, and everything like that. It's good to go. 
You don't need all the extra stuff, lettuce and cheese and all that stuff, because the cheese will be already in it. So I need to get more cheese. So when I go and see him tomorrow, I need to tell him I need to buy some more cheese. And um, what else? That's all I can think of right now. That's a start, right? Oh, I'm sorry, and French toast. Don't forget the French toast. I'll probably do like two French toast. Again, um, hash browns, um, sausages, um, and then probably not bacon for that one, and then like toast on the side. So they'll have like two pieces of toast as well, just to fill them up. So I got some more bread today for them. I don't eat bread. So now let's talk about the keto diet. All right, very exciting news. So I talked to my friend because I'm like, all right, I'm not losing any weight. What's going on? Blah, 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 blah. So we refocused our energy. She's like, huh, you need to eat 20 carbs or less, net carbs or less. You need to eat 20 sugars or less. You need to, because you want to lose weight, you need to try and do a 1500 calorie diet. So let me show you. Let me show you. Hold on. So I got a, I have a book. So I looked up all my books and I found this thing actually makes my butt hot. You know that? <laughs> Other than that, it's good. <laughs> um, so this thing is awesome because this book, if you can see, Let's see if you can see it. See how it has Monday through uh, Sunday through Saturday? That's perfect. It's got the number of page and then the date. And then up top, I put my um, weight. Let me see if I can show you. She says, check your weight every day. And then just put it on the, on the, on the thing. So I put, put it right here. And for the last, let's see, today, yesterday, so I started this on Saturday because I was keeping track but wasn't doing it right. So I went by serving size. So I'm now using my measuring cups and my teaspoons and tablespoons and all that stuff to make sure I'm doing it accurately. So when you're pouring it on there, if you pour a little bit more, it's all right, but you don't want to overdo it. And this way you get to keep track of what you eat, what you can have, what you can't have, and make better, healthier decisions. So, for the last three days, I've done it, and I've already lost, like, two pounds. I'm very happy with it. Um, I'm starting to see my abs a little bit better. Um, I have been under 20 or under for carbs. Now, yesterday, I ate a little bit more carbs, but I didn't go past 30, which was great. And sugar was totally under. And then car, uh, calories, I stayed under my 1,500. So I think like yesterday, I ended up having... Yeah, I, th I might not have stayed under my, my carbs, but I didn't go much higher. So, only maybe a couple hundred. Um, and I made sure I was eating keto stuff. So, I did have ice cream and I did have um, whipped cream, but measured it out. I had, um, so I had ice cream that was keto. So, the whole entire pint, which I ended up eating the whole entire pint. But the whole entire pint was only 230 calories and only three net carbs. So, I really liked that ice cream. And it tastes like ice cream. It tastes better than ice cream, actually, to be honest with you. It's called Nyx. I really like Nyx. Nyx is one of my favorites. Um, I'm going to try and have some ice cream again tonight. Tonight, for dinner, I'm having... Because I've been having meat so much. Um, and I'm, I am a meat eater, but I'm not an over-meat eater. So I don't love to eat meat all the time. Nor can I afford it. <laughs> so, <clears throat> tonight I'm actually just having a salad and dressing. And then that way, that gives me enough carbs and sugars and um, calories to work with for dessert. Because I'd like to have dessert again tonight. And instead of me going over like I did yesterday, because people don't realize, like, the thing says four carbs 
you got to see the serving size. You got to see this, that, and the other thing. So it really just depends. And I never realized that strawberries, you can only, one fourth of a cup of strawberries is literally like two small strawberries. So I was eating like six strawberries instead of a serving size. You know, um, you, you got to work with what you, what you can. So I'm very happy with it. And I'm a candy junkie. Like, when I'm a candy junkie and I say I'm a candy junkie, this is what I mean by a candy junkie. All right? Anybody want some candy? Anyways, so I'm a serious, serious candy junkie. Now, you're probably wondering, do I eat that? Have I touched it? The answer is no, I have not. I have not had one piece of junk food that was actually real sugar and candy. Um, I've also noticed that I don't crave sugar anymore, uh, or carbs. Uh, I do feel a little sick here and there, but that can also be because of my testosterone. I noticed back in, I think, October, I started getting nauseous when I get hungry and fatigued. So it has nothing to really do with the keto at all. It has to do with my testosterone because what's going on is... And I'll explain it in another video, but what's going on is, is since I started transitioning, I started testosterone, you go through these phases. Some are just like three months, some are a couple months, some are a year, some are three months, six months, you know, it really just depends. But things are, it's like a cycle, so things change. So, my, my phase right now happened to be this. So I get nauseous when I get hungry. Um, I feel like I'm going to puke sometimes when I'm hu that hungry. And then I wonder, I'm like, oh, no wonder why guys always get irritable when they're hungry and they get, rah, 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 rah. yeah, they feel sick. <laughs> so I was like, all right. So um, that started in October and it's been going on and it's still going on. Now with doing the keto diet, I'm actually able to go longer without eating. I'm able to um, not feel as sick. Um, so, like, for example, I always bring food with me. Snacks. Just little snacks to hold me over. Like a yogurt. That, that coats your belly. Gets you home. And that's what I had to do tonight. So, like, I had breakfast. So, I had it at, uh, at, 11, at 11 today. I had a yogurt. And then about, like, 2, I ended up having breakfast which was just three eggs and one piece of toast. And then by like five o'clock, I was getting really hungry and nauseous. Like I was getting nauseous. That's how I could tell I'm hungry sometimes. It's because I get nauseated. So yeah, my body starts feeling wrong. I start feeling fatigued. And since I've had that yogurt, I don't feel as sick. So like right now, I still kind of feel a little sick, but not too bad. And... um I, um, it got me home. I feel not as tired than when I, than when before, when I, you know, so eating the yogurt got me home. It got me more awake. It got me to where I need to be. And I'm still at five fifteen point five 15.5 sugars left for the day. I have 8.5 of calorie, uh, of carbs for the day. And 760 calories left to go. So sometimes you can't do your calories if you don't, if you ate and too much um, carbs. But over the time, at, with my friend's help, it'll be working with me. So, um, so I am working on the apartment. Um, I may possibly, if Chris helps me out with this. And we can figure it out. Uh, we might have a good work opportunity. So I'm really excited under the table, which I'm happy about. And um, <clears throat> it is construction. Um, I, I've done all kinds of odd jobs. So, and I just let Chris know, I'm like, when I have my, my shoveling gig, I have to do it. Like, I need to keep, because I can't worry or, or depend that this is going to work out or 
I'm going to be able to do it for a long time. So this way, by next year, I by me doing the, the shoveling, at least I have that opportunity for next year with this guy. So, you know what I mean? So that's what's really important for me. I want to make sure that my stuff stays separate from his stuff. And I want to still be able to... So if I was working an eight-hour day with them, or even a 10-hour day with them, and I have some jobs of my own... I still want to be able to go and do those either after or on the weekends. Like, I don't care. Like, I am up for anything right now. But I need to get money in my pocket and a lot of it fast. So, this is a good opportunity. Um, and it's good money. So, I'm and I'm really hoping that we can do this. Because there's a couple of, like, little, like, things that are, little hurdles that are in our way. They're manageable. But it's a pain in the neck. So I'm really hoping that we can get this situated this week, hopefully. So I'm going to be encouraging Chris for this because this opportunity came last month. And then he got COVID, even though he refuses that he had COVID. But I really believe he had COVID. And he was sick for two weeks. I mean, you're not going to be sick for two weeks with with uh, the flu. So, um, and... Um, and he never called the guy back. So, um, the guy called him today. It's a, he, this guy wants us to do it, and I'm I'm up for the challenge. Um, I still need to f find ways to focus, to make sure I'm still doing self care, to um, to uh, make sure that I could still exercise and use utilize the gym. And utilize and when I exercise here, and to also utilize the pool. So if that means I have to work all day and then go to the pool, so be it. If I just do it two days a week, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, and then go home, do my thing, and go to bed and do it again. <laughs> so I really need to f make sure that I have my own time, my own space. But right now I want to just work, 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 work. Because that's just the mentality I have. And this will help me not have to find work er all the time. The big challenge, though, is I have general liability insurance. But I want him to have his own liability insurance. Because I don't want this falling on my lap. This is his gig. He needs his own liability insurance, and I know everybody here is going to agree with me. I don't want it in my name, because what happens if something happens, and then, you know, the thing needs to be here, you know, put on my insurance. I don't want that. I want that to be his thing, not my thing. So, I'm going to help him work on getting his, li his liability insurance that he needs, because he also needs workman's comp. I'm not adding anything to mine, so I already paid $500. This is his stuff. He needs to pay it. He needs to do it. You know what I mean? So I'll get him hooked up with what he needs to do and what he needs to know and all that stuff. That's as far as I'm going with that. Um, I'm a hard worker. I want to work. I love to work. And if I'm doing the keto diet and I'm sticking with my 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 goals and I'm not... Um, and I'm not... Um, I know that if you're on keto, you, my friend said you end up with so much energy. So that will help me even more for work. So I'm happy with that. And when I shoveled snow, I did that for 10 hours. And I didn't take that much of a break. I think we took two small breaks. And then, yeah, I think we took two breaks to eat. So, no, one break for like 20 minutes. And I don't even like, you know, I'm like, dude, I don't even like taking breaks. Like, I don't mind just going, eating real quick, having a, you know, and then going. Cigarette-wise, all right, let's talk about cigarettes. So, a couple things. I do want to quit. It's something I definitely want to do. But my friend did say you do not want to do too many things at once. And if you're doing the keto diet, get that situated first and then try quitting. So, I agree with her. I think that's the right thing. You just don't, and she said that even her doctor told her that. Like, don't do too many things, too, too many changes all at once. 
I'm also someone that's trying to stay away from caffeine. I have a feeling that caffeine causes headaches for me. So I'd rather not have to deal with the caffeine headache when you don't have it. And I don't drink soda. I don't, you know, I try not to take any supplements that have caffeine in it. And I try not to eat any foods that have caffeine in it. So I really try and stay away from caffeine. And I have more energy probably than most people that drink caffeine. Because caffeine's an upper, but then you crash, just like sugar. So, not my thing. And I'm not a, I'm not a coffee drinker, so I, I'm happy with that. Um, I don't need coffee. It's okay. I'm a hot chocolate kind of guy. And we have a specific hot chocolate now that is very, very, very... It's like one carb. Less than one carb or one carb. And... Um, and I was just dumping it in there, and now I'm measuring it. She's like, you got to measure. So now I'm measuring everything, and, and it's so much better. And I was just like, really? I can only use two tablespoons of cream? And I do. I put the two, two tablespoons of cream in it. It's fine. So um, when I take a look at actual serving sizes, I get like a... I'm like, no wonder why everybody's so beast in America today. Because no one eats a serving size. What are you, crazy? Like, how do you eat a serving size? So now I'm breaking it down. I'm eating a serving size. I'm much happier, actually, believe it or not. Um, I, I feel like, like sugar and carbs are like a drug. So I'm afraid to actually eat sh sugar now. Because I'm afraid it's like a drug and I'm going to be addicted and go back and then you can't readjust. So, I have three days out of the year that I picked for my cheat days. That's my birthday, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. It doesn't mean you got to eat your whole entire junk drawer. You're probably wondering, I have my junk drawer here, what am I doing about it? Am I getting rid of it? No, because actually, believe it or not, for me, having it here makes me, it's like a security blanket, so I don't have to touch it, but candy has to be in the house in order for me not to want it. Yes, I'm just a crazy person, it's all right. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm just crazy like that. But I do have a lot of <coughs> keto-friendly snacks and junk foods and stuff like that that I can go to, and at first, I was really craving that and eating it, and oh yeah, I like it, like it, like it. Now, I don't have that problem. I don't have to eat junk food every day. I'm not craving it anymore. I have um, um, sugar-free um, um, sugar um, chocolate chips. So I want to make a bunch of like little chocolate chip pancakes and different stuff like that. And But last night, you know, you smoke weed and then you get hungry. And I've been so good when I do this that I'm not going backwards. I'm still sticking with keto stuff, which is awesome. So last night, for the first time, so instead of just dumping it in there, like, mm -mm, you know, like that, what I did is I counted out the serving size. Yes, it was long. So one was 33 pieces and the other one was 26. So I counted out, you know, all right, 33, okay. 26 and I was completely happy a serving size of that of that sugar-free candy what or chocolate was fine so when you have a chocolate craving it's actually pretty good I don't know why people don't I mean yeah so yep so that's what's going on with me so I am going swimming tomorrow for the first time in like four years can you believe that I'm so excited Got my muscles. I still do my push-ups every day and my stomach crunches and I'm starting to get abs, which I'm liking. So I'm hoping the keto diet will help show it a little bit more, get rid of the sides a little bit more, get a little bit of this tummy a little bit more. Because every time you sit, I just feel like I'm fat and I'm not. Like, I am, but I'm not. So I want to lose this, exercise, get bigger muscles. My only downside for me is I'm in a lot of pain every day my back my muscles everything like that i suffer with fibromyalgia and it sucks okay people i'm always in pain um i just i don't know 
Like, I'm just in awe. Um, I don't know what else to do for it. I just have to suffer with it. I do notice, like, when I was exercising, though, a lot more. So, like, right now I'm just doing 30 push-ups and 30 crunches. And that's not enough. You need to stretch your body out. You need to exercise, like, a consistent rep of exercising. So, I'm just trying to get the house in order first. Then I'm going to get my... Um, that's what's behind me. Is it? Yeah, it's right behind me. That thing. I'm going to get my um, weight bench set up and try and do some weights and stuff. It's got to go in my bedroom, but I don't know how this is going to work. But I'm going to try. We're going to see how this works. Um, and my friend, like, today, he's looking around. And he's like, dude, you still got a lot of work to, go to do. I'm like, yes, I know. I know. It's a lot of work. I'm going through every single thing that I own. Things I haven't touched in a while. I'm going through the entire closet. I mean, going through everything. Yes. I mean, everything. So, it's a lot of work. And it's going to take me probably months to do this. Um, but I don't have that much going on this week. Stop buying stuff. Just come home. So, like, tomorrow, I'm going to be going swimming at 12. I can go swimming until 1. I'll go see my friends real quick and say hello. Um, give them the scholarship form. I will um, maybe spend the like half an hour with them. And then I'm going to come right back home. And I'm going to continue working um, on my stuff. So, tonight, it's 8 o'clock. I'm kind of tired today. I'm going to eat, I'm going to relax, I'm going to watch some some stuff on TV, and then tomorrow I'm going to continue. So when I wake up tomorrow morning, I decided I'm going to start continuously doing this stuff. So what I'm doing right now is all the DVDs, cases, because I already have a bunch already, but I had to buy two more, so here's another one. So this is going to have, and then where's the other? Oh, it's right there. That thing right, right over there. There, that thing. I have to take all the DVDs out. I'm going through, um, I'm going through, uh, like PG, PG-13, rated R, putting them all together, and then I'm going to be putting them in a new book, and then I'll just leave this book for whatever I need it for, for later, for when I need it. So, I'm going to put all my, uh, um, all my movies in that one. And I already went through all the um, TV shows. So I have TV shows and two books already. And then I my CDs that I've owned my entire life. I have two books in that. So it's you're just trying to downsize. So that was taking up room in, in, a, in a closet. And I decided, I said, hey, I don't need the things. They're not worth any money anymore. So I'm just going to put them in a book. I just haven't ever had a time to do it. So now I'm going to do it. So that's going to get done, and then the next step is starting with the baby stuff in my bedroom. I need to go through everything they own. Um, I'm going to get my two boxes that are at my mom's house. I'm going to get those over here. Uh, good news, I did buy a changing pad, and it's going to be here on Friday, so that's going to be going right here. So I have to clean that out, so that's ready to go for that. And I just bought a, a changing cover, so I'll be able to put a changing cover right on it. And then we can start doing baby videos, yeah. So we'll do like some changing videos and some bottle feeding, I don't know, just whatever. You tell me what you guys want. So I definitely want to show you guys a video of all the babies I have, including my Reborns, and putting them all together. So what I'll probably do... I'm either going to use my bed or the couch. So, one of the two. And I'll set them all up. I'll probably have them so they are not clothed, just diapers on, so you can see their details. I think that makes the most sense. The reborns, it doesn't matter. But Jasper, I really miss Jasper. I really miss jo Josiah. Those are reborns. And then, I think there's another reborn up there. I think so I don't know <laughs> so there's another reborn his name's Christmas and then um, I 
think that's all that's made, believe it or not. And then we have, obviously, J Javian. So, yeah. Um, and that's really it, guys. Um, I don't know what else to tell you guys. I don't. I don't have any work this week yet. So, I'm not really. I mean, I am looking, but I've gotten no calls. So, I'm really hoping this thing with Chris works because we're talking good money here. Better money than what I'm making right now. It's a lot more work, but I don't care. I, I'm a hustler. I am willing to do whatever. I just suffer with a lot of pain every day. It wakes me up at night and everything like that. So, um, I don't know what else to do for it. It really affects me mostly in my back. Like, from top to bottom, it hurts my neck. Um, something's going on with my hips. I do need to go to the doctors and find out what's going on, but... I suffer with a lot of pain. I don't know if it's maybe like referred pain from my back. I don't know. I should probably go to my back doctor and find out. But um, what else to, to, to tell you? I, I mean, I just talked to you for 35 minutes. Um, yeah, so I will do another video talking to you a little bit about transitioning and stuff like that and all that kind of stuff and go into more detail about maybe the different the, the different stages I went through and what I, you know, go through today and also talking about how people have changed talking to me or beha or treating me or whatever. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, I'll explain it in the next video. So I'll do that video right now and get it, get it up for you guys. So yeah, um, don't forget there's, um, food things. Just don't get too hungry. And don't want me to come over and cook for you. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't. I didn't take a picture of the cake or the cookies or anything like that. But there is a big cake and cookies. And then some meal, And while I was doing the meals. So you'll be able to see some of that. So stay tuned for that. And thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like down below if you like this video. And uh, if you uh, feel free to leave me any comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe. Uh, <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys back here the next time.